Hello everybody, it's Gail here. Thanks for coming back to watch another video on my channel. And if you're new, hello and welcome. I'm really excited to have you here. Now, this is like, uh, I've been waiting to put this kit down for like a couple of days. It's been itching at me. But first, I will show you my Erin Condren um, Life Planner cover that I bought from the shop Bliss Paper Prints. Um, a word of advice if you're buying from the UK, make sure you only buy one cover at a time so you don't get walloped for customs like I did. <laughs> Everybody hates customs, right? So this is last week's spread, or this week's spread as we speak. I only had this one box, um, and I couldn't get the other stickers because the shop that I bought it from, K Elizabeth Plans, um, was on holiday. So I drew the artwork in myself, and I'm quite proud of it. Um, but as you can see, I have some lovely bleed through onto the facing page. So we've got to do something about this. Now this kit is from Sticker Geek Designs. Um, it did come from overseas. It arrived really quickly. But look at this bag. Oh my god. It's so so pretty. It's really pretty. I've totally kept the bag. Um, so you get the freebie and you're going to recognise this. This is obviously based on the film um, Practical Magic which is like one of like just my all time favourite movies ever. So you've got this huge, um, this is three double boxes this scene here and I can't, couldn't decide whether to put it on the weekend because we're going to be away or Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday when I'm going to be studying. So you've got this bottom washi um, which is the always throw um, spell salt over your shoulder. You've got hydrate stickers, functional stickers, um, ombre boxes. Look at the date covers. Oh, there's, there's so much washi in this kit as well. It's brilliant. You have flags, functionals, checklists, more deco, um, more washi strips and the most stunning weekend banner I think I've ever seen. This little bit with the gate post on it I think is to go down your sidebar. So anyway, um, just couldn't decide at first like where I was going to put this huge sticker. It really is. It's three boxes wide and two boxes high but in the end I put it down off camera because my battery was flashing at me and I thought oh god typical so I'll put the basics down so I have put the bottom washi and the picture boxes down I was having real problems with this day cover here trying to get it up <laughs> it's a nightmare um i did get it up in the end i don't know what was the problem with it but um i had to wait out all my dates on my erin condren life cover i was worried that they were going to show through i don't actually think they would have in the end because this is premium matte paper so it's it's lovely quality and i'm just gazing hopelessly at my check boxes just thinking what am I going to do? I couldn't think how to fit the date covers with headers and the to-do lists. So in the end, I decided to put down the date covers, then a strip of washi, then leave a gap, then put down my today headers. So you, I will do that off camera. I'm sorry so much of this is off camera, but... Um, my phone has been playing up lately and I'm just trying to get as much stuff recorded and on my channel for you as possible. So you will have to give us quite a bit of leeway with this one, but it, you can just see already that this is going to be the most gorgeous kit ever. It's really lovely. I'll apologise for the noise in the background on this one while I'm doing the voiceover. My kids are helping, in inverted commas, each other with their homework. So I will leave you now and I'll come back when all of these headers have um, magically appeared on my planner. <laughs>
So this got kind of awkward to do on camera. So you can see I put the day covers down and then the tassel on the book hangs down quite far. So I decided to put the washi strip underneath. Then I put, then I left a gap. Then I put my hydrate stickers, not the to-do list, like I said before. Then I left a gap. Then I put the today header in there. And then I'm going to pop down some of the ombre heart check boxes although these are not hearts these are roses if you've not seen the film practically magic practically magic it's because the kids called practically magic if you've not seen practical magic firstly what's wrong with you go and watch it <laughs> it's brilliant absolutely brilliant um and yeah you'll know if you have seen it um that one of the characters gets buried under a rose bush so that's the significance of the roses on the ombre heart checklists or ombre rose checklists um now like i said we are going away me and my husband um are going away for a dirty weekend <laughs> in Scotland um I can't wait I have wanted to go to Edinburgh for like as long as I can remember and we're finally gonna do it I've finally persuaded him to take a couple of days off um he's had two days off work in the last two years and that was to get married so um yeah he needed to have some holiday <laughs> so I've kind of forced it upon him and we're going to Edinburgh so I'm not putting to-do lists on the weekend um i'm just going to mark that we're traveling and um the first thing that we're doing but i really wanted to put down this weekend banner because the weekend banner is so gorgeous and truth be told i didn't really have enough room for it in the spread and i was thinking where am i going to put it where am i going to put it oh, yeah. and then i just thought oh sod it i'm going to stick it um over the top of the picture box and it looks absolutely stunning i'm really just totally and utterly in love with this kit i think it's so so pretty so i know i have appointments on thursday and wednesday and i know that monday and tuesday have got to be study days because I'm going to be so behind. For those of you who don't know, I have just started doing a history degree with the Open University. And um, yeah, book one is Reputations. So we're doing Cleopatra and um, Suzanne and Stalin and stuff like that. So I really, really need to get my head into it. I've done quite a lot of reading already. I am a little bit ahead, but it's only because I knew that I was going away. So I obviously don't want to fall behind. So moving on to the sidebar i have this gorgeous um little sticker that i'm putting up there and it's got actually got the moon phases and stuff on it when you look at it it's really really beautiful so in the sidebar i like to track my vitamins and i thought i'd track my study i'm gonna need to track my study every single week from now on because i'm absolutely terrified that i won't be able to manage my time and complete my course so ooh, jeepers creepers wishes luck um so i've put down a this week header and a remember header so the remember one is going to be for my vitamins if you want to know what vitamins i take i take a multivitamin i take turmeric two turmeric tablets and four whole black peppercorns every day because i have a joint condition called bursitis which is really really painful um in my hips and turmeric is a natural anti-inflammatory and the black peppercorns help your body absorb the turmeric um more effectively so there you go little side note there so that's me just sticking down my stuff in the sidebar and trying to get it straight and not really doing a very good job of it so i think all that's left to do is to put down some half boxes on the days where i have some appointments and um this is the thing when you speak when you record your video and then you realize that you can't do that because there's too much background noise and then you do a voiceover you totally forget why you were pointing at things <laughs> But I think that was just me sort of pointing at the days where I had appointments and deciding um, what I was going to track and where. So now it's time for some 
half boxes. Um, Monday needs to be a study day, so I need to mark that down. I want to um, go through the topics that I've done on Monday. Tuesday, I've got an event at my son's school. Now, I've got this black all over my planner from the bleed through, and look at the state of my whiteout roller. Yeah, it's like it's still got white in it and I can still use it, but it just doesn't roll back into the dispenser anymore. So I need to get a new one of those. Um, so there's a half box going on there. The black ended up like not really showing through that much anyway, um, because the box is patterned in the background. Wednesday is my best friend's birthday, which I always get really excited about because her birthday is exactly one week before mine. So for a whole week, I get to take the mickey out of her for being old. <laughs> and then it's my turn. Thursday, I put down the last of the half boxes because I've got a hair appointment, getting ready for going away. And then um friday saturday and sunday is all going to be either prep or traveling or actually being away for the weekend so um I, that half box was well wonky and i was trying to get it straight and it just won't go straight and i just thought i'm just gonna have to move on because it's gonna drive me insane um so yeah Friday, Saturday and Sunday, I used the little appointment labels to mark what we were going to be doing um, either in preparation for or while we are away. Oh no, I did use a half box. Did I use? No, I didn't. I didn't use a half box. I did use the quarter box. I knew I did. Um, <laughs> and then we are pretty much done and I will show you the finished spread at the end. And um, I, oh, I just love this kit so much. I'll show you what's, what I've got left at the end of the spread i've definitely got enough to make another kind of weekly spread either in my traveler's notebook um or in my other erin condren planner which i'm kind of gravitating towards at the minute i don't know if any of you guys have found that who got the new style are you kind of gravitating back towards the old one i'm not sure about this new one when i'm planning it i think i like it and then i planning the old one and I think oh actually I prefer this one anyway that's pretty much me done I love this kit so much I will make sure that I link the shop down below in the description box I hope you enjoyed I hope I see you in my next video please go and check out um the shop it's utterly fantastic and all her stuff is hand drawn and also if you haven't seen practical magic go and watch it right now after you've watched this and left it a big fat thumbs up and subscribed and this is me zooming in and out trying to show you the finished spread so please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this and hopefully i will see you in the next one bye bye